Apple is about to update Final Cut Pro to version 10.8. It's going to happen real soon, maybe even today. By the time you watch this, the 10.8 update might even be out already. It's a major update with some really cool new features, and if you're anything like me, you'll want to try these right away. But since it's a major update, there's always a chance something might be broken, and if you're halfway through a project, that's the last thing you need. So today, I'm going to show you how to safely update Final Cut Pro and have a backup in place just in case. The first thing you want to do is make a backup of your current version of Final Cut Pro. Open a Finder window and navigate to your Applications folder. If you don't see it in your sidebar, use the keyboard shortcut Shift Command A. Inside this folder, press Shift Command N to make a new folder and name it Final Cut Pro, followed by your current version number, minus 10.7.1. Next, locate Final Cut Pro in the Applications folder, right-click on it, and select Compress Final Cut Pro. Once it's compressed, move the zip file into your new folder. Now, when you update Final Cut Pro, when you open your library in a new version, you also have to update it. After updating your libraries, they'll no longer work in previous versions of Final Cut Pro, so you also need to make backups of your libraries. Navigate to your library in your Finder window, right click on it and select duplicate. This makes a copy of your library. So if you store your media inside your Final Cut Pro library, all your media will be duplicated. If you don't want multiple copies of all your media, you can move your media to another location and have both libraries reference it from there. Before duplicating your library, open it in your current version of Final Cut Pro, select the library in your media browser and go to the inspector window. Click the modify settings button for storage locations. Change the storage location for your media to a different location outside of your library. Click the Consolidate button to move your media. Now you can go ahead and duplicate your library without unnecessarily copying your media. Repeat these steps for any other libraries you might need to open in the old version of Final Cut Pro. I'd also recommend moving these libraries into the folder you made with your backup version of Final Cut Pro. With backup copies of both Final Cut Pro and all your libraries, you can now go ahead and confidently update Final Cut Pro, knowing that if anything goes wrong, you always have a previous version to go back to. Now, if you update a Final Cut Pro library without backing it up first, there's still a way to backdate it to work in previous versions of Final Cut Pro. My friend Dylan Bates made a video that explains exactly how to do that. If you need to backdate your library, click here to watch Dylan's video. Otherwise, go watch this one. I'll see you over there.